what is going on and it's time to review some of my favorite photos today is friday june 2nd um last week i did not record an episode uh that was by design that was because i kind of had a short week but i did take a cool photo last week and that was at the new bedford art museum i uh, found out that they were putting a new installation up um, and it involved like a nautical theme and Anyway, I walk in there and I see all these hooks dangling from the ceiling, and I thought that was really cool. It turns out it's, it's from a, an Alaskan uh, fisherwoman um, who's also an artist. But anyway, I saw this and I sat there and I noticed that the director and the curator were walking back and forth doing whatever. And I just sat there for a while and sure enough, here they come walking across with a rowboat. <laughs> I mean, the reason a photograph like this works is because of the strong foreground and background elements, the story element, um, the color, and it just kind of captivates you. You see, it kind of just sits there. Those hooks bringing you right in. They, they hook you into the photo. Um, this week, no different. Um, I ended up stopping uh, at the beginning of the week at the Fairhaven um, Marine Propeller, which I thought was kind of cool to just stop in. I saw they were working. And it's funny because there's propellers all over the place, but there's also like a fan right there. So, so some more propeller action. These guys are completely surrounded by their work. And what they were doing, it was they were grinding. He was holding it and he was grinding a propeller that they had fixed up for a boat. Um, I stopped in Matapoi. This was in Matapoiset. And I noticed that they were working on a boat. Now, one of the things that makes photographs real interesting is when they're really isolated and it was a really foggy morning and because there's no background at all it's completely white it just tells you the story and then what happens is you start noticing the effort that this guy's putting in to climbing the top of that staging and look at this guy he's like just enjoying the view oblivious to his buddy here who is just trying to get up there so i guess they were fixing something around here See how his face is between? Everything works to make the composition interesting. Um, it was really raining. Wednesday, it was like pouring buckets. And a lot of people ask, you know, when they see this photograph, they say, oh, how'd you get that? Well, the answer is pretty simple. I got soaked. That's how I got the picture. So when you see something like that, the easiest thing to do is just like, oh, I don't feel like getting wet. Oh, I don't feel like getting soaked well, then you're not gonna get anything out. So I got soaked, I walked up the street, and sure enough, the water was like coming down like a stream down William Street in downtown New Bedford. I see this kid coming from this way, and there was no way he was walking across that, because he literally would have been up to his ankles. Sure enough, he launches himself. You get one shot to get that. You either get it, or you don't. And then the more you look at the photograph, the more interesting it gets, because he's holding some kind of soda and that he is not letting go of that thing and that's what makes it interesting uh yesterday uh, driving around I, I decided i wanted to go for a cup of coffee at starbucks out in buzzards bay I'm driving and i see a sign it says now open pet smart didn't even know there was a pet smart there and look at it. these people that dog is just loving life right now but again, you don't need to see like people's faces. Look at the emotion in her hand and his arm and the way that that dog is just smiling at you, right? What makes a good photo? It's pretty simple. It has to tell you a story. See you next week.